Hey everyone, and welcome back to Seattle Coffee Gear's annual gift guide video series. I'm Tara. And I'm Sean. Today we're brewing up some excitement as we dive into the world of super automatic espresso machines. Before we start, we've got a delightful drink to share. It's called a maple mocha. You can get it on our Instagram at Seattle Coffee Gear, so go check out the recipe now because it's delicious. Well, it might be delicious. Let's try it. Cheers. Yeah, that's really that's good. delicious! Yeah. <laughs> so Sean, what machine do we have here? Like what's going on? All right, uh, the new machine that we have here is gonna be the Philips 3200, but with a stainless steel finish. Uh, brings a Ooh. new look on kind of an old classic that we've had in our kind of like home offerings. The 3200 is gonna be really perfect for a lot of folks that just wanna push a button in the morning and have their coffee ready to go. The Latte Go Carafe is really convenient and awesome. Pops right off. Uh, makes lattes, does a really, really good job of just performing and getting that daily drink so you can head right out the door. It seems really quick. So if somebody was kind of had a fast morning routine, this is something that they want to be Absolutely. Okay. Uh, on and at full heat in about 30, 45 seconds, and then your drink is ready another 45 seconds after pressing go. Okay, well that's pretty darn fast. Yeah, yeah. And what else What else do you think is really enticing about this machine? Besides the ease of use and like the quickness there, uh, it's really easy to clean and maintain. Everything slides right out from its drip tray uh, to its brew group over on the side. Really easy to just like make, make a part of your daily life and routine. And everybody loves fresh beans. At least at least mm -hmm. if you're a fan of Seattle coffee gear, you love fresh beans because we offer those. But what did you? What do you think is most important about the fact that you can use fresh beans in this machine? I mean, uh, fresh beans make all the difference in terms of like coffee taste and like daily usage. Uh, beans are loaded right in top in the hopper here, and it grinds fresh every time you press go. So you're going to be getting the freshest, least oxidized, most flavorful coffee. So we have accessories to go with this machine, obviously. Yeah, can we yeah, talk about yeah, these? Of course. Uh, we'll start off on the end over there with our uh, little espresso cup. Uh, so cute. Yeah, for folks that like their coffee just straight up and powerful the little acne cup is great but if you're like a lot of us uh so adding some milk to it you get those larger sizes um, uh, let's just go down the line and what yeah. do we have here uh that's gonna be the latte cup from acme uh available in a bunch of really cute colors so uh if you're trying to match a color aesthetic it's gonna be really rad up next we have our airscape container this is a great coffee storage container particularly paired with this machine if you want to have a decaf hold bin on the side uh what it does is, uh, and we'll hear it here. Oh yeah, let me make the sound. Yeah, super tight air seal to uh, let the coffee remain fresh for longer. And you pair it up with this machine to keep your decaf nice and fresh. And this just looks so sleek as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Finally, we have the Fellow Eddy steaming pitcher. Now, with the Latte Go Super Auto, uh, you don't really need a steaming pitcher. However, 3200 also comes in a steam wand or Panarello variety where you might want one of these. I love the handle on the Fellow. Uh, super easy to hold and use and just really does an all around great job. I love that. And then mm -hmm. you have coffee here, yes. obviously, because fresh beans, that's what we do here, if you didn't already know that. Yes, yes, uh, and fresh coffee is really a must to get the most out of this machine and one of the key things with super autos is you don't want to go too dark so sticking with something like the uh, crew brew from Tony's or we have an awesome camber coffee here both uh, Pacific Northwest coffees that would feature really really well in this machine so if I wanted to make something fancy like this maple mocha, can I make it in one of these machines? Absolutely, okay. uh, and it's super straightforward. First things first, you're gonna add the syrup to the cup, so get that all ready, and then we come right on over to the machine, and it's as easy as selecting the latte macchiato setting, making sure that all of your specific coffee settings are in place, uh, and then you just press go and the machine takes care of it from there. Just press go. Yeah. All right, everyone, now go to our Instagram at Seattle Coffee Gear for our maple mocha recipe plus dozens more. We have so many. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel, for goodness sake. Plus, since you're a super fan of Seattle Coffee Gear now, you get 10% off when you subscribe to our email newsletter. We share everything from sales, promotions on the hottest products, and so much more. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.